My name is Julia Romanoli and I'm a production system specialist for Hand Forge with John Deere. I cover Eastern Canada and look after our five and six series tractors, balers, mower conditioners, and the self-propelled forge harvester. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about our self-propelled forge harvester lineup from John Deere and how our technology, agronomy, and equipment works together to deliver you a better solution in the dairy and livestock production system. So first things first, when we think about our self-propelled forage harvester lineup from John Deere, it's an exciting year in 2022 because we're celebrating 50 years of SPFH. Uh, so very exciting. All of our models that are going out this year will have our 50 year anniversary decal you'll see on the rear of the machine. And in the cab, you'll see an embroidered emblem as well. We have our 8,000 series machines. Those are our standard body machines that range from our 8,100 through to our 8600 and moving into our 9000 machines those are our wide body machines a little bit higher horsepower higher throughput really to match that throughput and horsepower to maximize your productivity all the way from our 9500 through to our 9900 uh, new exciting updates really for us this year across the models you'll notice an update in the cab so quieter cabs, uh, reduced cab noise by about four decibels, just making it more comfortable and enjoyable for you as you're going through that harvest season. Another update you'll notice is for our 95 and 9600 for this year, we came out with a brand new John Deere 18X engine. Uh, this is an exciting brand new uh, engine technology from John Deere, completely redesigned system that allows us to meet all of our emission standards without the use of after treatment or DEF. So, very exciting to think about our goals in the forage world uh, when we're doing self-propelled forage harvesting. It's really to increase your throughput and decrease your fuel consumption. And that definitely does it with that new John Deere 18X engine. Overall, we think about forage harvesting. It's important to consider your forage goals. And there's really three keys to the forage puzzle. Those are kernel processing, um, additive dosing, and length of cut. And I wanna talk about a couple of these and how they work together in our machines. The first one is length of cut. So when you're able to tie in your effective cut length based on moisture and do something with that data through the harvest season, we're able to do that through inputs from our Harvest Lab 3000, which is located on the spout of our SPFH. So as we're harvesting our crop, we set our max moisture we're gonna see in that day with our max cut length, the minimum moisture we're gonna see with the minimum cut length, and we're able to, on the fly, adjust the speed of the feed rolls to really hit that compaction target in the bunk. The other one is additive dosing. We're able to apply our inoculants on an ounce per ton basis, really taking in that yield data that we're capturing because of that harvest lab. Um, and we think about our other piece of the forage puzzle as we're heading into corn silage season is really the kernel processor. So making sure we're delivering at minimum of a 70% corn silage processing score across the wide range of length of cut, and that's something that we can achieve with our machines. For more information on the self-propelled forage harvester lineup from John Deere, visit deere.ca or go see your local John Deere dealer.